Hey guys, Jacob Parker here. Now, uh, if you hear any barking, I can't help that. I'm looking after dogs. Sadly, this book's not that great. It keeps falling apart, sadly. That's page two and three, but look, there's holes in it so I can reconnect it if I need to without the front cover. So, today I'm reviewing Friday the 13th, part six, Jason Lives. It is 19, it came out in 1986, thriller slasher film, an hour and 46 minutes long. Tommy and his friend heads to the cemetery, but Jason wakes up and kills his friend by putting his hand through his chest. Then he does James Bond type circle slash instead type thing. So, sorry about the angle. So about the angle, the angle's a bit shitty, isn't it? Nothing I can do about that. I'm using a bit of cardboard. Mm. Then we see the new campers and Tommy gets apprehended after running into the police station. The old, this old man breaks the fourth wall when he buries this movie. is going to be so short because it's so shit. Yeah, uh, this old man breaks the fourth wall but he dies later when Jason slashes him. Sissy gets killed. Uh, caught is doing it in the caravan. Ends up dying. A lot of people, all of people die but they're really just so boring. There's a triple decapitation. And I gave up at this point. I was like, this film is fucking awful. So I gave it a 2 out of 10. The beginning was alright, but then it got really boring. To the point where I can't write notes. So the review such short review. That's literally all the notes I caught for the day. Bye bye. Actually, no. So that means... We st it still averages better than the air. Uh, I gave it a 2 out of 10. Tonight is part 4 of the Elm Street Gang. Uh, I'm going to wait it here while you, you watch because might as well. There's my limit for videos, it is 3 minutes. 69th review. Uh, so, part 5 got a 4.5, so it averages worse, the worst Friday the 13th yet. Part 7 is going to take a different turn, but also, Jason now is a zombie. So, Jason is now a zombie. So, it goes for the movement. But yeah, Jason is now a zombie in this film. <sighs> so I'm going to see you guys in the next review, which is Nightmare on Elm Street Part 4. And I'm probably going to take a little halfway point break while I review something else. Because I've got a lot of birthday films I've got to get through. Bye-bye.